Welcome to the course on Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, we will discuss about the, some basic concept of electrical engineering. When we say electrical, the first thing that comes in our mind is the current. What is current? It is the flow of holes. The flow of holes in a desired direction is the current. And the flow of holes is obviously, it is opposite to the flow of the electrons. So, the current, the nomenclature is I, flow of positive charge particle or we can say rate of flow of, rate of flow of the positive charge particle. So we can write it on dq by dt, that is what we have I is equal to dq by dt or we can say the total charge passes through the element q divided by the total time will be the current or we can say 1 ampere can be called as 1 coulomb of charge transferred in 1 second. That means 1 coulomb of charge transferred in 1 second. So if the electron, what is the charge of the, what is the value of E, 1 electron? 1 electron is equal to minus 1.602 in 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So can we convert 1 coulomb is how many numbers of electrons? One elect <coughs> sorry, one coulomb is equal to 6.242 in 10 to the power 18 number of electrons. So if this number of electron passes from one point to another point, the rate at which these electrons passes through one point to another point, we can say dq by dt is the current. So we can say one ampere is equal to one coulomb the, this number of electron passes from one point to another point in if in one second this is called one ampere or we can say i is equal to dq by dt sometimes we write i is equal to capital dq by dt now we have uh, we can define what is the charge is charge is an electrical property of the atomic particle of which matter consists measured in coulombs so we can say any matter, it consists of the atomic particles and that atomic particle has a, uh, have a charge. If the charge is a say, electrical property of the atomic particle and this charge that flows in a unidirectionally to the, from the positive to the negative, the holes flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal and the electrons from the negative terminal to the positive terminal this flow of holes will be called as current a rate of change of charge so summarize that current is nothing but rate of flow of charge in a closed circuit is current now this current the rate of charge we can define the rate of charge flow is known as electric current that is definition we can write and this charge flow is not always constant so here it is shown with respect to time this is a constant value however here it is little bit of up and down is there so it is not a fixed value and in the third case it is alternating it is up it is in and sometimes in a positive sometimes negative when it is positive and negative the flow of charge is like from time it is giving charge is going from 1 to 2 and other time the charge is flowing from 2 to 1 so if the charge is alternating in nature it is called alternating current if the charge flows in one direction from 1 to 2 and that to a constant amount of charge is flowing or 1 to 2 always it is called direct current if this is changing if there is a uh, from like it is alternating between 5 and like 5.5 and 4.5 then this is unidirectional current and this is also called uh, DC direct current now the significance uh, how do we will really going to give a sign convention to the current so current uh, it's like common sense is that if the current is like one terminal from one to two it is flowing and we are giving naming it 5 ampere so if it is uh, given that if the direction is reversed, the direction is shown in the opposite direction. So you just convert from 5 ampere, you write it to as minus 5 ampere. 
it is as simple as uh, suppose a voltage source with a resistor is there so obviously the current is defined uh, is shown in this direction because it is the positive and negative so current passes from the positive if it starts from the positive and it flow through a resistor and it come back to the negative so we say the current is 5 ampere so in case we are representing this arrow in the opposite direction so obviously i will say the minus 5 ampere is moving in the opposite direction it is just a common sense so that sign convention you need to remember now from that current we have seen that the current is there that means there must be some energy so when we say current is there that current the causes of current what is that flow of current electrons or the flow of positive charge particle it can or your positive and negative charges are separated you can say the positive and negative charges are separated or the, the flow of charge electrons uh whatever this causes the cause is the energy the s energy is uh, is important that this is the energy that is a cause of the flow of the charged particle now energy per unit charge created by the separation is the voltage so we need to define the voltage is what energy per unit charge so 1 coulomb of charge suppose is there and it is separated like 1 coulomb of charge separated with plus and minus then the energy that joules energy in joules that is being created that is uh, being created because of the separation of 1 coulomb of charge will be called as volt so if the energy is being created is 1.2 uh, because of the separation of 1 coulomb of charge it is say 1.2 volts battery and if i say it is uh, like 12 uh, joules if 1 coulomb of charge is separated it is 12 volt battery so i can write uh, like 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per coulomb or 1 newton meter per coulomb now the voltage energy required to move a unit charge through an element also we can write in this way energy required to move a unit charge so a unit charge is being moved through an element so that is also we can define as voltage so that means unit charge when i say it is this number of electrons One kilogram of charge transferred separated through one element. The so sign convention of the voltage is again it's a uh, very uh, interesting that if the current is flowing from one to two, we are naming it V one two. Let us say ten volts. So what does it mean? The ten volt is that the potential over here is ten. The potential over here is zero. Can we write in a reverse way? Suppose the potential over here is zero and potential over here is minus of ten. Anyway, if this is ten, this is zero. If this is zero and minus ten, so this is always in higher. So we can write V one two as ten, or we can write V two one. Writing this two first and this one, we can say it is minus of ten. Both the meanings are same. the difference is which one we are giving the how we are going to write 1 2 or 2 1 is just a sign convention when i say 1 2 the potential of 1 with respect to 2 when i say 2 1 potential of 2 with respect to 1 that is how we have to define the sign convention accordingly these are the simple example you can have a bulb and you can say like this 1 2 or you can have a voltage you can represent like this and say voltage is v 1 2 the supply voltage is like this with a capital v now there comes a power and energy the power is what the rate of change of energy that is obviously the power is rate of change of energy dw by dt and we can say the power unit is watt and this is nothing but 1 joules per second joules is the energy and time in seconds so we can write small p the rate of change of power in terms of dw by dt and we can change this dq dq we can multiply both ends we know that energy change with respect to coulomb means that like one coulomb separated and whatever the energy that is uh, Uh, be created because of one coulomb separation then that is called the voltage and the charge at which rate at which the charge flows through this and that is a current so we can define a power is equal to v and i so we are usually we know that power is equal to v and i here we just write in a proper way the power is equal to uh, this small means instantaneous value so that is why it is p is equal to v into i 
the power con conventions uh, this is very other important point is that power is suppose any element is there that is two possibilities is there either it will observe or it will supply whenever you observe something so obviously you are in a positive side you are observing right and when you supply it uh, you are saying it is a negative you lose something right so when you observe means when the current is going to you and you are saying that the positive voltage v is there and the current is coming to you and it is saying v into i that is a positive value and let us say the same voltage convention plus and minus and the current is being supplied by you and then it is the power whatever is is a negative power because power you are supplying so you are left you are less with the left with the less power so power is supplied means negative and observed means positive so another convention you can say that when the power current enter to the positive of this element you can say it is observing when the, this current is moving out means current is entering from this end so when the current entering to the negative terminal and we say that it is the uh, supplying so it is a negative power so uh, another good point is that the conservation of energy that power summation of all the power whether it is created or supplied the sum is equals to zero so we can write w is equal to uh, summation of power is equal to zero and we can also write uh, from the previous convention that uh, that p is equals to we are writing p is equal to dw by uh, dq into dq by uh, dt so we are writing here is that p is equal to v into i so from here we can also write energy uh, so here w w is what here w is the integration of the w is w into time uh, is the power into is power multiplied with uh, t0 to t uh, into dt so total power that is being supplied uh, observe or total power that is being delivered it can be represented in terms of energy w so energy is the capacity to do work w is what it is the capacity to do work and it is given in terms of joules and the energy you can represent that in terms of watt hour one watt hour is nothing but one watt hour is nothing but one watt in in terms of hours hours is nothing but 3600 seconds so this is the total energy is nothing but power into time in seconds so power uh, into time in seconds so this will be equals to 3600 joules or we can say that power is the rate of change of energy so energy is equals to uh, this power into time so now we have the elements is there the active and passive element any intercurrent of element is called uh, like when we say electric circuit uh, electric circuit is what it is like a combination of lot of elements so you can have elements uh, connected in series it can be connected in parallel energy is delivered to or by them so there is two possibilities is that the, there is the elements are there like resistor is there there can be inductors capacitors or any other elements and there can be a voltage sources so there or any other voltage sources this may be possible so whatever the elements we combine it form a electric circuit so if i take any one of it like a resistor i am taking it come cutting it out so this register if i take this register and i say others are there in the like it's like a black box so if this register is taking the current i and register is having r so this is called as a, it is observing the power it is taking the power so this power is being observed so that is what written a passive element is it is if the total energy delivered to it from the rest of the circuit is always non negative so total power is obviously positive so if it is non negative then this is a passive element passive element in simple sentence it doesn't have its own energy sources it may store energy but it doesn't it cannot create the energy so that is what is called a passive element rest of the things we will learn in the next session